What's up guys, AJ here. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like these videos, do me a huge favor by leaving a thumbs up. It actually helps out a ton. And if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, go ahead and click the subscription icon and the bell notification to have them updated in your sub feed when the new videos go live. So I went to an ACG event located at Aeon Kinta City which is called Shizuoka Festival. It is a small scale event unlike Arimangaki or Komei Fiesta or Anime Festival Asia or something like that. And it's, um, I believe it's a 3 day event. Also, normally I don't go to small scale events because the last few times I went to such events, they're kind of boring to be very honest. Also, the last um, ACG event that I went was, which was um, last year's um, Animanga Ki, which was uh, at the Mines Convention Center. I don't know what's the full name, but yeah, long story short. Um, it's located at the last anime monkey where I went, which is the at my uh, Mines Convention Center. And the the last legit good ACG event that was held in Perak that I went was um, the Anime Culture Fiesta, which was held in 2015. Hold on, let me see if I can find the, the brochure or something. So uh, this was the the Anime Culture Fiesta event. Um, that I went back in 2015 which is held at um, Kampa Perak and these are the the booklets that, that I collected throughout my entire like what, 10 years of me going to the ACG events so this one is I believe this is the uh, the Comic Fiesta 2019 and then we have the uh, 2018 Comic Fiesta the 2018 Comic Fiesta then the 2017, 2016, uh, here's the 2016, uh, the one in 2016. The oldest uh, CF that I ran, I believe, was um, this one, uh, back in 2012. As for Animangaki, unfortunately, I don't have any any book, any of the oldest um, booklet. But uh, at the very least, I can show you. Um, this is the uh, the twenty two um, booklet, and then this is the uh, this was um, the Animangaki some ten anniversary, which was like what? When was this one? Let me let me see if I can find the year or some sort. The ten anniversary of the uh, Animangaki was when during. It was when um, Donna Book and the uh, Genin Jazz uh, came over to Malaysia so I forgot which year though maybe I'll look in a bit so yeah I've been attending um, ACG events ever since um, 2012 so here's the story um, right um, after work which was around um, 2 o'clock ish I immediately went to the um, venue with low expectations um, due to my past experiences when it comes to um, um, small scale events and the moment I entered the venue, oh boy, little did I know that for a, such a small skill event, there was a lot of people. There's quite very few booms unlike the ones in Anime Manga Ki or Komi Fiesta where you have the um, the basic art booth, the, the premium booth, the, the TCG booth and the um, cosplayer booth. As for the event itself, there's like about 5 booths in total? Because I'm not sure if the, the arcade booth and another TCG booth which is a um, which is about Card 5 Vanguard counts. Because um, just so you know, these two booths are located on the first floor on the mall while the main stage and the five um, booths that I mentioned uh, earlier on are located at the ground floor. So I took some videos of the event and of course some pictures of the cosplayers at the venue. Um, hold on, just let me show you the, the, the pictures that I took. So here's one um, cosplaying as um, I from um, Oshinoko. 
and then uh, we have um, Denji from Jinso Man and then I believe this is um, Silver Wolf from um, Honkai Star Rail and then um, we have um, Clara on the left and then um, March someone on the on the right hand side and I believe I'm not sure which um, Power Rangers is this is this from, but uh, but this guy right over here, right? He's one of the judges for the cosplay competition at the moment of time. I'll I'll get right into the cosplay competition later. Uh, and once again, I I'm not really familiar with um, the 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 newer Power Rangers because the last Power Rangers that I watched was I believe was like. I'm forced, I believe. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I think that was the last time I watched Power Rangers. And then um, here's another shot of the of the, uh, the Power Ranger. And then we have um, I'm not sure what this character is costing as yes, I'm so I'm not so sure. Uh, please comment down below on what character this uh, this cosplayer is costing. And um, I believe this is another uh, one of those um, Tokusatsu um, characters, but then again, I'm not really so sure because uh, I will say this: I'm not really into like um, Tokusatsu. Uh, the the only uh, Tokusatsu related stuff that I'm really that I do know of is the the Kamen Rider series, and that's pretty much it. So comment down below on well, what this. Uh, what this character is um, cosplaying as, and uh, another thing is right. This is this guy is the the other um, the other judge that was uh, that is um, judging the um, the cosplay competition at the moment of time, and then um, ah this Hutao um, cosplayer, this Hutao cosplayer is, is kind of uh, kind of sweet because she, I I believe she was. She was the only one that they gave me a a, a sweet. Hold on, fifty seconds. She was the uh, the only um, cosplayer that gave me something, which is uh, which is this. She gave me this um, this lot one hundred candy. It's kind of sweet of her, but I'm pretty sure she does the same for 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 everyone who takes picture of her as well. So <laughs> fair enough. And then we have the uh, the Tataglia. Um, or should I say the Chao uh, Chao cosplayer from Genshin Impact, and then we have a uh, Miko cosplayer right over here, and then we have this um, cool um, Mouse Morales uh, Spider-Man cosplayer right over here. Very very cool guy as a matter of fact. And lastly, this is the uh, the Ram cosplayer. Unfortunately, if only uh, the if only the the, the lighting is better. Still very good co the a legit good cosplay regardless. I didn't really take many pictures and videos as I wasn't there for an entire day like how I would normally do at Animanga Ki or Comic Fiesta. And as a matter of fact, why right, I was there on day two only. Because early on I mentioned that uh, the Shizuoka Festival is a three day event. And I was there for day two only, and I was there for about a good um, two hours checking out the event because um, it's been, it's been like one year since the last um, ACG event that I went, which was uh, once again Animangaki 2022. And while I was there, right, the cosplay competition for kids under the age of twelve was ongoing um, I didn't really like uh, watch the entire cosplay competition I only watched like, like the first um, the first competitor and then I just went for my lunch because I was hungry as heck at the moment of time but um, oh my goodness gracious the, the, fir the first cosplayer was cosplaying as Denji from Chainsaw Man was legit good. I mean, a 10 year old kid cosplaying as a character from Chinso Man, which is not meant for kids. Wow, just wow. 
And I'm kind of glad that a lot of people gathered around the end for such a small scale event. Probably because of um, that one event, uh, I believe it was um, Jom Cable, which was happened quite a few months ago back, which was um, very um, heavily promoting the cosplay event. Probably because of that, right? Majority of the people in uh, Malaysia knows what cosplayer is all about. I mean, even um, casual people who are who are walking around the area, right? They know what cosplay is all about. So I'm kind of glad to hear that more and more people know about um, this cosplay event that's ongoing in uh, Ipoh uh, right now. My only complaint, or should I say, my biggest right about the uh, event is that I kind of wish they played enemy songs just like how other events do it while while they are waiting for waiting for the next program to proceed but no they were playing some old school English songs instead but then again this is a this is a small scale event takes place at a uh, at a shopping mall so I kind of understand that why they had to do it because they want to attract maybe they want to attract more of the uh, the casuals to check out this as a cosplay event on going right now. It's just a it's just a meeting, but still I kind of wish they played some enemy songs like maybe um, some Attack on Titan, some Chainsaw Man, and and if. Or maybe they could play some like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Wheel music cause why not right? But that, that, yeah like I said it's just a me thing. And speaking of um, the cosplays that I've seen so far right, I believe majority that I've seen is, I've seen a lot of Genshin, I've seen a lot of Honkai um, Star Wheel. And, um, Quite a few um, Chinso main, I'm sorry, Chinso man characters um, here and on. I think that's pretty much how many um, cosplay the 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 variety of the cosplays that I've seen at that moment of time. Then again, I was there for uh, for two hours. Still, I wish I will. I've seen more varieties of the cosplay too. Just like just like the ones that I went at. Um, Animanga Ki and um, Comic Fiesta. Then again, it's a small scale event, so so I, I'm just glad that um, such small scale event is getting um, a lot of um, attention. So um, to wrap up this conversation, I'm glad that a small scale event is getting a well received, and I'm hoping that. The day will come where Ipo will finally get to do a grand scale event like Animanga Ki or Comic Fiesta. And shout out to the um, organizers um, of the event for willing to do such a small scale event that gathers people that share similar interests of anime, games, and cosplay from different parts of Ipo. Maybe para into one location.